pick and choose unless you use the wild card that make that gets you like six perks. Yeah, that's Cause, what I, I mean. Because I mean, ghost, cold blooded, and ninja all in one. You know what I mean? Like, that's smart right there. So everyone's not abusing them. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I saw this dude I watched on Snapchat. He was all complaining about it. He's also, he's just like runs around with a knife. <laughs> yeah. Do y'all agree with the lobby sentiments on how the perks are set up in the game? Comment down below, let me know. But what's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another gameplay commentary. And season one is here for Call of Duty Cold War, man. We're playing on the new map, The Pines. I call it the AKA Stranger Things map. If you guys understand what I'm talking about, the reference here, Stranger Things season three, pretty much the season finale took place in a mall that looks just like this. Like the layout of the mall looks just like this. It gives you like this old retro 80s vibe. So I call this map the Stranger Things map. Comment down below if y'all also a fan of Stranger Things. Can't wait for season four to drop. But uh, yeah, man. I actually had a pretty decent gameplay, man, on this on on this uh, map. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. I think it was, was probably the second time I was playing this map. And I actually did pretty well. This was probably one of my better gameplays I've ever had on Call of Duty Cold War. And, of course, since I did well on, in this game, the games after this were complete trash. I was getting destroyed. It's like... Soon as skill based matchmaking saw that I was doing well, they was like, Oh, you're doing good, huh? Cool. Now you're about to suffer the consequences, man. So yeah, man, I uh, I was I was doing pretty, pretty fantastic in this game, man. So hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay commentary. Yeah, what well, the gameplay in the back, man. I, I was actually proud that I was recording this. I was like, okay, this is this is decent. I was going double positive. I can rock with this. Um the layout of this map is cool. It's okay, man. Uh, I, I, it's, I know a lot of people are not a big fan of it because they feel like it's just a, a huge maze. But for me personally, I don't know. It's it's okay. Like, it's it's way better than Miami. I, oh, my God. It's leagues better than Miami. I don't know why this didn't ship with the game already. But, yeah, this is way better than Miami. There's a lot of close quarter areas, so you can really, like, you know, have some close quarters engagements. But you do got to get a feel for the map because the map is, is so huge. So a lot of times, especially if it's your first time playing the map, you're going to get lost. I know the very first time I loaded into this, I was like, okay, this, it looks aesthetically, it looks good, but... I don't know where the hell everybody is. I don't. I like. I didn't even know there were certain spots. Like right there, I jumped down. I, you know, I, after a couple games of playing on this map, I knew there was a spot up there you can jump down from the arcade and you know get an advantage on people. But I didn't know that when I first played. So when someone jumped down above me, um, when I first played this map, I was like, Yo, what, 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 what is this? What is going on, man? Like, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I, I, I will say this map for me um i'm rocking with it bro I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you it's 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 serviceable it's serviceable for what it is so comment down below let me know if you guys are enjoying season one uh me personally it's uh it is what it is you know uh I, i've seen some of the stuff in the battle pass i'm i don't think i'm buying anything in the battle pass this year for call of duty uh i i do see the trend of boycott the battle pass and if you plan on boycotting the battle pass go ahead you know what i'm saying i understand why someone would join that movement because activision really doesn't give a damn about us and clearly they don't because they don't even want to admit skill-based matchmaking is in this game and how strong it is so me personally when it comes to corporations like that that really don't care about their core fan base, the only thing you can do is hurt their pockets. Now, like I said, I, I didn't plan on buying anything from the Battle Pass this year anyway, only because I just didn't feel like the stuff that they would be providing would look as cool or, you know what I'm saying, be that beneficial like it was in Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare was the first Call of Duty game I bought so many guns and skins because they actually look dope, they look creative, and they were cool. And I, I, I just like having the different death effects and stuff. Like, it was... It was it felt like it was worth the money 
to have those certain guns and certain uh, skins and you know different different executions and all this other stuff it felt like it was worth the money and in this game since the graphics have in my opinion have taken a, a step back compared to modern warfare i don't feel like it's worth just buying anything on the battle pass because i don't think it's going to look as good as it did in modern warfare now i could be wrong later on in the game maybe there's some some different guns and you know different assassinations that i may want but as it stands right now no i i, I really i don't really too much care you know what i'm saying it's 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 like oh all right, well, I'm I'm just gonna stick with whatever's in the base game. If they give something for free, like I know they have some some weapons in the battle pass that they're giving away for free. You just gotta rank up your your battle pass tier. That's cool, but outside of that, I'm not I'm not about to do that. I'm not about to do the most. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just leave it at that and and go from there. So that's kind of where I stand on it. So if you guys are boycotting the battle pass, hey, that's that's cool. Me personally. I didn't plan on buying anything from the Battle Pass from the jump. So, I guess you can say I'm part of the boycott, the Battle Pass movement. But, at the end of the day, Activision is going to do what they want. And even though, you know, some of the community is talking about boy boycotting it, um, let's, let's be real here. A lot of the casual Call of Duty fans now, they don't really care about that. If they see a dope gun, they're going to pay for it. And that's just what it is. And at this point, I'm going 22-9 and nine at halftime. I was like, okay, I'm at the top of my uh, top of the team leaderboard on my on my end of things. Um, we end up losing the game, though. I'm not even gonna, you know, you ain't gotta. <laughs> there's nothing to hide here. There's no spoiler here. We end up losing the game, but I do go off. I, you know, I end up having the best best kill death ratio and uh, out of out of both teams so I, I was literally trying to you know just get as many kills as i could and continue a rhythm but ultimately like it was just one of those things where my team wouldn't wasn't really that good this was actually a pretty pretty uh solid lobby for me um but yeah man uh i've also been hearing that there's some bugs going on with warzone um i'm not sure how that happened but basically there's like an invisibility glitch like uh invisibility glitch like basically people are running around in the war zone map and you can't see them they can see you but you can't see them it's like they're hacking you can't see them you can't i don't think you can even kill them because you can't see them i don't think like they register like the hitbox register so they're basically just running around destroying lobbies through this glitch and it's like I've never understood this with Call of Duty, especially the recent ones. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but recently, anytime there's a new update, something else in the games break. Like something else in the just the core game ends up breaking. I don't know how that happens. Like I've never understood that with the recent Call of Duty, man. Like I, I, I don't, I don't get that. But tell me how that makes sense. I'm going to update the game, but ultimately break something else in the game that's not supposed to be broken. Like, I, I don't get it. It's been like that for years. And honestly, it's, it's one of those things where you're like, yo, how can this be from a multi-billion dollar company? How can this? How? What? It, it doesn't make sense to me, bro. Not not even going to lie to you. This And you can tell this game. People have been saying it since it came out. This game has been it was rushed this game should not have been out when they released it i get it covid was a thing and it kind of it, it kind of messed up a lot of things you know for like different game developers and stuff like that but we're not in a rush for another call of duty we get them every single year all you have to do is just just wait you know what i'm saying make the make sure the game comes out as best as possible before you sit up there and and release this half-ass product like this this was half-ass and maybe not by you know choice maybe it's just because they didn't have enough time and activision's like yo bro you got to push this out even though covid is messed up our schedule and you got to push this out like no bro this this should have definitely been held in developmental you know so they can you know at least fix bugs and issues like this because this shouldn't be a thing it shouldn't be a thing and the simple fact that they're reusing maps like me i don't have a problem with pines but also in season one they do have raid it's uh you know a classic map from black ops 2 they brought that back which is it's cool but it's like i don't know how many times you gotta bring back raid i believe i want to say it was in call of duty 
was it in Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 4 that they brought Ray back? I'm not sure. But it was a, I want to say it was in recent Black Ops that they brought Ray back again. And it's like they always bring back Newtown. Newtown is what Newtown will always be. And it's like, that's cool and all, but it's like, yo, come on, man. Like, what? Not, why are we playing the same maps we've been playing for five, six years just on different consoles? And at this point, I was just going off with this score streak. This is why I said I, I like the close quarter map on this. Because this score streak was just wrecking people, blowing them up with the, the noob tube. That's what I like to call it, the noob tube streak. Just destroying people. But, yeah, I, I just don't get it, man. We're literally playing the same maps we've been playing for the past few years. Just repackaged to look better you know what i'm saying and it's like come on bro come on come on call of duty come on activision like no one like i don't i don't get that and the new maps that we do get a lot of times they don't even play that well so yeah this is just my personal thoughts and opinions on season one so far it's nothing spectacular the stuff that you get in the battle pass besides the guns i don't really care bro it's it's what you it's what which what you expected from the battle pass that we got in modern warfare except i think the battle pass in modern warfare was a little bit better with the rewards here i just don't care i just don't care if like i literally i'm i i'm just here to try to get the best gameplays <laughs> that, like that's really it and rank up my guns man and and that's it dog like i'm just keeping a stack and a half with you bro because this is this is just one of those type of situations where it's like hey save your money save your money don't don't waste your money getting stuff you know getting like spending on the battle pass on some stickers and calling cards don't do that bro please don't put any more money into their pockets yeah, unless you really want what they what you what they giving you because me personally I, I don't really give a damn so comment down below let me know if you guys are enjoying season one do you guys plan on buying anything in the battle pass this year let me know man i won't judge you if you do because at the end of the day it's your game your money you can do whatever you want with it i'm just letting you know what i won't be doing this year in call of duty but uh yeah man this gameplay was pretty decent from your boy i was proud of it and i had to put it out here for you guys just so you guys could check it out but uh appreciate all the love and support man hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay and i'll catch y'all next time Peace. All units, yeah, head to okay. exfil. No, no. You're not to be taken alive. <sighs> well, shit. This is a fucking shit.